It doesn't look good, Captain. The cultists clearly didn't believe in regular maintenance protocols. Those filthy scoundrels. Let us hope that they will see the error of their ways soon. First, I will take care of the word bearer scum. Then I will find the logbook.
What a surprise! Did you come to witness our victory, Inquisitor? I came to serve you the Emperor's justice, just like I did with your foul brothers. Pathetic creature! You cannot stop what is coming, even if you kill every one of us, which you won't. could be cleared. Your father acted irresponsibly, but he was not a willing servant of chaos. First, I need that logbook. Go to my father's private quarters and find his personal cogitator. It will open the chamber where he kept his most treasured possessions. Logbook, but it won't open. Take the log back to the ship, Inquisitor. It can only be opened by my ancestral signet ring, which is coded to my DNA. Open the logbook, Inquisitor. It was extraordinary. I held in my hands the entire secret history of my house. I trust it will make fascinating reading. But for now, I only need the details about Uther Tiberius. I can tell you where Gregor Van Winters took the survivors of the Martyr. But that happened a very, very long time ago. It is the only lead I have. Take us to those coordinates, Captain. I'll make the necessary arrangements. Meanwhile, you have a message from the Conclave. This is a message from Inquisitor Helena Gosler. I must tell you, I was in charge of purging the Van Winter family. I have learned that you have reopened the investigation, and in all honesty, I find your decision perplexing. All my actions follow. Captain, I have made my decision regarding the fate of your house. Your father participated in forbidden practices, but his intentions were not heretical. The name of your house will be cleared. I'm still counting on you and your ship in the future, though. Thank you, Inquisitor. I am very grateful. Rest assured, I will serve your cause with absolute dedication.
Tame the heretic. Slay the treacherous Xenos. Banish the fork-tongued demon spawn. for my trying to save The bat is swinging our way. One last push and the victory is ours. I'm afraid that's our last shot. Don't fail the Imperium.
the Emperor's hand. Yes, exactly. According to the port cogitators, it used to be a mining station. Then it was turned into a colossal plague ward during a system wide out. Break. I need more information on its history. I will locate the central cogitator. It may be able to tell me more. I have been reading through the logbook, Inquisitor, and I have found something interesting. Is it about if it's here? In a way, yes. My ancestor, Gregor van Winter, founded our house not long after he brought Tiberius to this place. Gregor received his warrant of trade due to the influence of some new inquisitors in the Caligari Conclave, who used to travel on his ship and who vouched for him. It means that the most loyal followers of Uther quietly returned to the Inquisition after the fall of the Master. This might warrant a future investigation. Central cogitator. I found. 
filled an area previously classified as a shrine, but it was sealed off almost a thousand years ago. If this place used to be a sanctuary for Uther, his followers must have walled off his most private chambers after he died, or left. I'm on my way there. Per your request, a search was initiated in our data troves, looking for information on the system, dating back millennia. What did you find? Original registration marks Mining Station 121 as a Type 4 monastery. Status was obtained three standard years after the alleged arrival of Tiberius. Status was later changed to Mining Station, then to Plague Ward by Inquisitorial Orders. So, Uther's followers made their sanctuary disappear under the of their bodies. However, the Emperor's light has found me. attack. Time to leave this lovely time.
I have found the gate leading to those ancient corridors. It is sealed. Proceed to the cogitator to open it. Follow my instructions.
greetings.
logs indicate that the gate was accessed several times over the last few decades. Great. I wonder what I'll find inside. A cruiser is approaching the station. It is broadcasting on inquisitorial Vox channels. Their authentication is genuine. They will be landing soon. This must be the right place. It looks like a tomb, but it is empty. But if these Utherians laid their leader to rest here, where is the body? Do you request a primer on the rate of human decomposition over millennia? Don't try my patience, Tech Priest. Even the bones are missing. I'll take a look around. I have found proof that this place was raided by an inquisitorial team. They took away Uther's remains, but why? The survivors suspected treachery. That I know. You have visitors. The inquisitorial ship dispatched a team to the station, and they're heading towards your position. I'll meet them halfway. I am Interrogator Koltar. You are in breach of Code Indigo Protocols, Inquisitor. Even the agents of the Holy Orders need a special permit to enter this area. I must ask you to lay down your weapons and follow me into custody. How dare you address me like this? I will do no such a thing, Interrogator. My sincere apologies, Inquisitor. But I must follow me orders. You have left me no choice. Kill him! Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? Please, Inquisitor. I was only following the orders of Inquisitor Flavius Draken. Why would an Inquisitor send agents against other Inquisitors? My orders were extremely specific. After Inquisitor Draken removed the body buried in this tomb, he set up a team to monitor the station and act immediately if the area is breached. Inquisitor Flavius Draken took away the remains? Where can I find this man? The last time we had contact, he was preparing for a special assignment. The Conclave must have records on his mission. Trust me, I'll find him.
have a message for you, Inquisitor, and the coordinates of a world in the subsector. I have received your request, Inquisitor. I would strongly recommend that you provide more details on the background of your inquiry next time. Still, I see no harm in disclosing the current whereabouts of Inquisitor Draken. Your fellow agent is current. to find an Inquisitor in the middle of a war zone. Draken's last known location was at the command center. In the meantime, the unclean maggots have surrounded the fortifications. Should I fight an entire army on my own? You carry the Emperor's will as your torch. You can destroy the armies of darkness. Any suggestions how? I've been listening in on the Astra Militarum Vox chatter. They have a Shadow Sword tank, ready to break the blockade near your location. Then I will requisition that tank. Ready to fight. Attention, Guardsmen! Inquisitor taking command! At ease, Commander. Awaiting your orders, Inquisitor! By the powers vested in me, I hereby requisition your vehicle. Take me through the enemy lines to the command center. Yes, Inquisitor. With an agent of the Holy Orders among us, we have nothing to fear. I know it goes without saying, Inquisitor, but we will do everything we can to help. We would follow your commands whatever the situation. But on top of that, you are looking for Flavius Dragon.
probably aware of Draken's reputation around here in Quisada, but allow me to clarify. Draken is a legend among us. When we win this war, our victory will be due in no small part to him. Inquisitor, the Emperor's blessing be upon you. They will need your help in there. Too late. The enemy has already captured the command center. 
I'd strongly suggest you find the communications room. There must be some evidence of what happened to the defenders. I'm on my way. Communication center. I'll check the logs for the last few Vox messages. The situation is very grave. The traitor marines have destroyed the defenses. I even found a knight on the list of casualties. Those mongrels have destroyed a combat walker. Curses be upon them. The traitors took prisoners. I'm going to rescue them. There is still hope that someone has information about Draken.
prisoners are still alive. Those slithering traitors spared them so they could torture them. And brainwash them into servitude. They will pay for this. Caradoc, the pilot of the Crimson Wanderer, at your service. Well met, sir. You are a free blade, aren't you? A lonesome warrior reporting for duty. Sir Caradoc, roaming the sector, fighting our enemies, and aiding the helpless. Did the traitorous scum really destroy your knight? They had something more obscene in mind. But that would have taken longer, and I know in my heart that the Crimson Wanderer is still waiting for me in the hangar. Emperor! You have saved us all from a terrible fate, Inquisitor. I'm only doing the Emperor's work. I must find Inquisitor Draken. Is he here? Inquisitor Draken had to make a decision, and he made it with a very heavy heart. When he realized that the city could not be saved, but the rest of our world still has a fighting chance, he has returned to his fortress. He is keeping the main Chaos forces occupied until reinforcements arrive. By the Emperor, we are saved! I must reach Draken's fortress immediately. You need to cross the city to get there, and it has become a ruined battlefield crawling with armies of monstrosities. But don't lose heart, Inquisitor. The true gifts of the Emperor come at the most unexpected moments. What do you have in mind, Sir Cardoc? This is a quest worthy of the Crimson Wanderer. I will take it upon myself to fight my way through the battlefield and clear your way to the fortress.
only corruption lies beyond the veil. There is nothing but suffering and death beneath the stars. Certainly fight, Inquisitor.
All set, Inquisitor. The Crimson Wanderer, this magnificent relic of our glorious past, is ready to strike down the unclean and the corrupted. I will guide my knight to the very gates of Draken's fortress. So, you wanted to know more about me? I forsook my house and became a free blade a very long time ago. Alas, I cannot give you a satisfying reason for my decision. I am bound by the oath of secrecy, you see. For reasons that I won't divulge at the moment. questions. Sadly, I mustn't talk about my house. I gave up our heraldry for a reason. My oath prevents me from discussing my past. But I still dream about our proud castle. The mighty ramparts, forges, furnaces, the ranks of our proud knights marching against the enemy. We thwarted countless invasions by the foul Xenos crowd. on an assignment, and they haven't returned yet. You should be more than welcome there.
I will place a teleport beacon here, so you can jump straight to the gates any time you like. I cannot follow you any further, Inquisitor. Rest assured, though, that I won't stray too far while you are down here. <laughs>